ladies and most of you gentlemen, today we're going to talk about tigers. And not just any tigers, we're going to talk about one specific tiger, which is the Winter Spring Frost Saber. And I'm going to tell you how you can obtain this mount in World of Warcraft. Now before we begin, this guide is relevant for WoW versions vanilla to Wrath, because in Cataclysm they actually mix it all up a bit. And I'll be making a separate video on how to get the mount on versions Cataclysm and upwards. So firstly, let me tell you a few things about this majestic beast. So the appearance is a purple armorless tiger mount, similar to the non-epic Dynasus mounts. It's the only epic ground mount with 100% riding speed, which requires 75 riding skill. So in that regard, it makes it one of the best mounts of vanilla, because most of the time you don't have enough gold for the epic mount training. And this mount is exclusively alliance only. So as you'd imagine, the Horde don't deserve such a beautiful mount. So to get the mount, you need to be exalted with a very exclusive faction known as the Winter Saber Trainers. Now this faction only contains three members, and they are Chow Fairwind, so she's actually in a small camp in Northeast Winterspring, chilling with Umbrance the Spirit Speaker, who is mysteriously hiding inside her little cabin, looking all suspicious. She doesn't actually serve any purpose in game, other than just making up the numbers in the faction. And then way over the north of Winterspring, on top of Frost Saber Rock, which looks an awful lot like the uh, the hill from Nightmare Before Christmas. And on top of that rock are the other two members of the Winter Saber trainers, and that's Riven Frostwind and his pet Glacier, who actually shares a model with the mount. So to get exalted with the Winter Saber trainers, it's a long grind. It's a very long grind in vanilla and a slightly shorter grind in TBC and Wrath. It all begins with a quest from Riven. Now this first quest is called Frost Saber Provisions, and it is to obtain five Shardtooth meat and five Chillwind meat. So the Shardtooth meat it has about a 40-50% to 50 drop chance from Shardtooth bears in the area, and the Chillwind meat has about a 50% drop chance from the Chillwind Tremere in the area. This quest rewards 50 rep in vanilla and 250 rep in TBC and Wrath, and this quest becomes repeatable once it's complete. Once you've done that quest a couple times, and you've hit halfway through neutral, another quest will unlock. Now this quest is called Winterfall Intrusion. Now that is to kill 5 Winterfall Shamans and 5 Winterfall Ursas. Now these guys are located in the Winterfall Hold, which is on the east side of Winterspring, and this quest also rewards 50 rep in vanilla and 250 in TBC and Wrath, and this also becomes repeatable after completion. So after a lot of running back and forth, repeating the same quest over and over again, until you start to lose the will to live, another quest opens up, and this happens when you hit Honored with the Winter Saber Trainers. Now this quest is called Rampaging Giants, and it's to kill 4 Frostmore Giants and 4 Frostmore Preservers. This quest is located in the southernmost region of Winterspring, in an area called the Frost Whisper Gorge. Now this quest is actually classed as a group quest, but it seemed pretty easy to kill the NPCs on the vanilla server I was on, and it'd be very easy to solo in a TBC or Wrath server. Now this quest rewards 75 rep in vanilla, and 350 in TBC and Wrath. So in vanilla, if you choose not to do the group quest, you'll need to do a total of 840 quests. And if you do choose to do the group quest, you're looking around 750 quests in total. And for TBC and Wrath, you'll be looking around 550 quests total. So it's no small feat to get this mount, but once you do, it's the greatest feeling. I actually did grind this mount back in vanilla myself, and I still ride it on a regular basis on my main in Legion. So that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the video, and hopefully you learned a thing or two. If you liked the video, don't forget to give it a like, and subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know in the comments if you've ever retained this mount in game, or if you're going to use this guide to help you along on your long grind. And a special thanks to RetroWow and Smolderforge for letting me use their servers for footage. They're two great servers if you want to play on around on an instant 60 or 70 character. I'll be bringing out a separate video soon covering the post cataclysm version of this mount and its horde counterpart, which they added to stop them crying so much. And with that guys, I'll see you next time.